I'm here today at Pete Jorgensen Marine, 7660 College Street, Beaumont, Texas. And I'm showing you a 2020 SCB R24 package with a tandem axle custom McLean trailer, aluminum rims, as well as an Evinrude 300 G2. And this boat is equipped pretty heavy. Um, I built this boat as my 2020 demo and I loaded it out and I did it for the show purpose it went to several on water shows uh, was down in Miami for five days letting all those Florida guys see what a real bay boat will do no more pushing across the flats we're just gonna run across the flats without messing up the seagrass of course and it doesn't I've done it and it's beautiful now I package it with the Evinrude 300 G2. I worked for Evinrude, that's why I did it. But now that I'm with Pete Jorgensen, I'll still continuously package with this boat because this engine is perfect. It indirectly was built for this hull. Most fuel efficient engine with direct injection. Five year corrosion warranty. Not many guys are running this boat in fresh water. Most of the guys that are running this are running it in high salinity areas, which corrosion is almost certain. This has a five-year warranty on that, so if anything does corrode and lead to failure, it is warrantable. Standard power steering. When you're running this boat with one hand, it is extremely nice not to have to fight the torque of the engine. Digital shift and throttle. Makes it nice and easy to get in and out of gear. It's got a uh, RX44 blade, 24, it, 24 pitch. And you can see there's several sacrificial anodes on this engine to help prevent corrosion. Uh, low water pickup as well as a standard water pickup. But anyway, let's get back to the boat. Let's talk more about the boat because that's what I'm doing here, not the engine. This is a symmetrical cat hull stepped so I can get you that shallow water performance as well as speed and comfort and I'm gonna go over the difference because SCB has two different pole designs which not a lot of people know about you'll see this one right here is a symmetrical cat and what that means is both of those holes are the exact same versus an asymmetrical cat is gonna be a mirror image which is what you'll see on the s22 and the big difference between the two uh, the, the symmetrical cat is going to be a little shallower drafting and not quite as fast as an asymmetrical. Uh, asymmetrical is what you see on all those offshore racing cats, um, inshore drag boats. It's a race hole. It's a speed boat, but it's not going to run as skinny as a symmetrical cat will. Wes and Kyra Hudson purchased this boat a few years ago, this mold a few years ago, legally, ethically. It took them a while to go to market with it. And the reason why is they went through and they put the Hudson touch on it. They beefed up the stringer system, added flotation, made it an unsinkable boat, and put their quality stamp on the boat, which is not an overnight deal. They did a beautiful job with it without affecting the performance. The rigging is second to none. And you'll see what's special about this boat and the rigging as well in a minute. I designed this boat kind of like the suburban of skinny water boats. Reason why is we'd be taking a lot of people out for demo rides as well as showing how many people can physically and comfortably sit in this boat. And these are all options, and what's great about this boat is there's so many different configurations that'll fit your needs. I personally think this is a great boat for the family or even the hardcore guide that's wanting to take several people out, whether they want to sit, you know, four people behind the uh, bucket seats or if they want to ride in the bow on a nice sunny day get the front seating up there. Um, 
It's got the tall grab bar, which you can see right here, which is awesome for sight fishing. I probably spend 90% of my time up there because I feel like it gives me an advantage over other guys on the water by seeing the fish casting right at them. And you look pretty cool standing up there as well. The cool factor is a must, by the way. So I'm probably gonna miss all the options that are on this boat because there's a ton. But I will go over, you can see this is the deluxe raised console. It's got three live wells, one in the back, one behind the bucket seats, and then one in front of the console. And I did that so I could use one as a fish box or as a cooler. And also if I'm in a live bait, and yes, I do live bait, I can separate whether I'm throwing shrimp and menhaden or shrimp and croaker or, or whatever. I don't have them all in the same live well. I have them separated. Or if I want to go out there and keep some redfish alive, I can do that. I have several large live wells in this. Two eight foot blades, hydraulic jack plate, which is a must on this boat. I don't even think you can buy this boat without a hydraulic jack plate or any of shallow sports boats. You see the Garmin transducer. I believe that's live scan. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use this demo much this year. It was uh, spent most of the time in Florida at dealer events and boat shows. So talk about the Avenue engine. This little top cap right here pops off and it holds a little over two gallons of oil. Um, a little over a year ago, I worked the Miami show in my last year's 24 and I didn't cap off the oil the entire time, not until we left and went to the Keys for a photo shoot very oil efficient even though it is a two stroke and everybody thinks all oh, two strokes not fuel not oil efficient this one is as well as it being a direct injection engine and the cleanest outboard on the market oh it's two stroke it can't be clean it's two stroke this is the cleanest engine on the market which makes it the most fuel efficient as well bucket seats JL Audio pimped this boat out. It's got six, six and a half inch speakers as well as a subwoofer, which you can see right here. Amps. So this thing jams. I could turn it on right now, but I don't know if it would do it justice through, uh, through my cell phone. I chose to go with an 80 pound iPilot versus a 36 pound, 112. No, 36 volt, I'm sorry, 112. The reason I did is I'm not a, a fast troller. I don't I don't fish a lot of um, areas that have a high current. I, I just really want it for the spot lock and also to kind of move me a few feet. I'm a slow fisherman. I like to work an area. I fish more trout than I do redfish. Um, and I like to fish back in the marsh. And this saves on weight. It saves on batteries. This is going to give me a little more performance, a little better draft. See, I'm walking on the bow right here. No creeks. One of the beautiful things about this boat, all composite, no wood. Which is a big thing because there's still a lot of guys building wooden boats. This grab rail will fold down. So if you need to get under a bridge or in a carport or somewhere low line, you can, you can get it in there. And it's really easy. I did it myself up and down all the time. I'm gonna show you a picture of one of the live wells so you can see. It's a little dirty, so sorry about that. But it'll keep three reds alive in there very easily. And if you just wanna keep one or two in there, you can, and you can utilize another live well. They have them. This one's got three, I think I mentioned earlier. Uh, one of the another neat things about SCB, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Garmin on this. Garmin did us a, a big favor and helped with this 12 inch screen. And it's got digital switching, which Sea Star Solutions provides. Another shout out there. There's no gauges, and a lot of guys that are been fishing a long time know that things go wrong in boats. Well, the digital switching is going to help those things not go wrong because everything is sealed, tucked away. It's not exposed. You don't have those rocker switches that may go out on you in a year or two years. 
Um, it's all hidden away. Everything runs through this garment. So that's my Evinrude gauge is through here. I control all my live wells, my lights, my stereo. Everything is through there. It's basically a smart boat. Um, this, and this is my opinion, solely my opinion, this is the future of boats, whether it's bass boats, pontoon boats, skinny water boats, bay boats, even offshore boats are starting to do this. Um, so I challenge you to either give me a call and I can talk to you about it and give you some uh, pointers and my input, but I love it. There is a little bit of an upgrade, but in the long term, it's well worth it. I'm not sure if you guys know the history of the Hudson's, but Wes's dad, or grandfather, was that crazy guy in Houston beating on the side of a fiberglass boat back when everybody was building wooden boats. And I'm sure all the guys thought, who is this crazy guy beating on this fiberglass stuff? Everybody knows we're gonna build wooden boats. Well, guess what guys, it's 2020. How many of y'all still buy wooden boats? So this is not just some guy that decided, oh, I'm gonna buy a boat company and start building boats. This is a long list of boat builders in this family. Even heard Wes's uh, distant family members built the uh, all the Vikings boats. Not sure how true that is, just a rumor. I'm not spreading it. Just take that in, food for thought. Self-bailing cockpit, non-skid, built into the mold, it's awesome. I'm walking around right now, hole's a little wet from this rainstorm we got and I'm not slipping at all. I'm gonna do a brief one over on outside of the boat. Again, I'm with Pete Jorgensen Marine, 7660 College Street, Beaumont, Texas. Like our Facebook page, check us out. We are your premier SCB shallow sport dealer in Southeast Texas and all of Louisiana. One thing I do wanna take a moment to share, and the reason I said we're your premier dealer for Southeast Texas and Louisiana is because Wes and Kyra and even that bearded beauty, Travis Flanagan, has done a great job building a superb dealer network. So wherever you're at, especially in the state of Texas, call up your local dealer. These guys know what they're doing. He doesn't have Yahoo dealers out there that will stick a used car salesman on you to sell you a boat like this. This boat takes a special person, a special dealership to be able to explain, rig, and make sure that you're happy on the water. And now with, I believe, three dealers in Florida, now all you Florida boys get to see what a real bay boat is like. So I challenge you guys to call your local dealer, call us, we can help refer you to that, or come by and see us. Just a little walk around. Again, this is the SCB R24, built down in the valley by some fine people. It's a great factory. I challenge you to go by there, see what they do. They do all of their aluminum work, all of their upholstery, their holes. The only thing I think they subcontract out is their trailers, powder coating, and engines. And I don't want to leave boat builders to build motors. Let these guys stick to fiberglass. Thank you. Have a blessed day.